Hi, you folks. Steve Shives here once again, sitting in for Jesse Dollimore all this week. Let's talk about the latest in this Mark Robinson situation. Mark Robinson, of course, the lieutenant governor of the state of North Carolina, now the Republican nominee for governor of North Carolina. He's, you know, run into a few roadblocks lately in his gubernatorial campaign. Uh, Jesse already did a video about this when the story first broke, so I'm not going to go over territory that you already know or that uh, Jesse already talked about, but just the short version is uh, Mark Robinson. Before this recent CNN story broke, he already had a history of saying some wildly inappropriate, offensive, inflammatory things. He's the guy who said, some people just need killing. That guy, <laughs> right? And he's virulently anti-gay, anti-trans, um, anti-immigrant. And last week, CNN published a story where they uh, reported their findings that Mark Robinson, apparently about 10 years ago or so, 12 years ago maybe, had been a frequent poster on the message board of a porn website where, in various posts, he described himself as a black Nazi, said he supports bringing back slavery, and expressed a desire to own a slave himself in such an eventuality, and even made disparaging remarks about Martin Luther King Jr., uh, commented on the the day of the dedication of the MLK Jr. Monument on the National Mall. He apparently made a post on this porn website <laughs> forum where he said, get that commie off of the National Mall, referring to Martin Luther King Jr. So, nice guy, and you probably know a lot of, of this already. In the wake of this CNN reporting and all of these revelations, Mark Robinson has refused to leave the race. And says he's staying in, and he's not going anywhere, he's going to keep fighting for whatever he thinks he's fighting for, but he is losing support from the Republican Party and from his own campaign. A lot of his, cam his campaign staff have walked out, have quit on him in the wake of these revelations. The Republican Governors Association, which runs a super PAC that buys ads to support Republican governors running in races all over the country. They have announced that they will no longer be running ads in North Carolina to support Mark Robinson. And the chair of the RGA, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee, who obviously is also a Republican, has announced through a spokesperson that he personally is no longer supporting the candidacy of Mark Robinson. Other Republicans, including Trump's vice presidential running mate, J.D. Vance, have said that if Robinson's defense, and his defense is basically, it wasn't me, I didn't do it, CNN is making it all up, this is all just tabloid trash, it's completely fabricated, J.D. Vance and other Republicans have said, okay, if that's true, then you need to provide some evidence that that is the case. You need to provide some evidence that disproves the reporting in the CNN story, because there is a very large amount of evidence in that CNN story that... Um, that substantiates the claims that they are making. That story is reported with a lot of confidence. There's not an allegedly or an apparently in there, or at least if there are, there aren't that many. They come out and say, this guy posting on this porn websites forum was Mark Robinson. We've confirmed it. Here's how we confirmed it. Here's how you can know. And here's some of the stuff he said. There's a lot of confidence in the reporting. So if Mark Robinson's defense is, it wasn't me, they made it all up, then the J.D. Vances of the Republican Party are saying, okay, well, then you need to prove that better than they have proved that it was you. So far, he has not provided any such evidence. What he has done, however, is threaten to sue CNN. You talked about the, the reporting being salacious lies, not true. Have you taken steps then to prove we, it's not you? We or absolutely find out? are. We absolutely are. are. We're, we are we have, we're in talks right now everything up to legal counsel to take CNN to task for what they have done to us. We are, we are going after them, okay? We are going to go after them for what they've done. But we have five weeks left in this race, folks, and make no mistake about it. We are not going to let CNN throw us off of our mission. Our Woo! mission is to win this yeah! race. And quite Woo! frankly, I am dismayed about the fact, as I said before, Think about how many people out there right now, right in the place where we are right now, who are hooked on fentanyl, 
who are hooked on, uh, right. on opioids. And how many will die tonight because of it? Think about what's going on on our border. <laughs> Think about what's going on on the yes. world stage. Yes. And this is what you, this is what you uh, choose to focus on. You've got these news cameras, news reporters, pens, pencils, your microphones. This is what you're focused on. You're not focused on the things that we talked about standing up there about our economy. You're not focused on those things. I am. I'm going to remain focused on those things. And you better you better understand, I am coming after full CNN full throttle. But we have got to put the people first. And in order to put the people first, in order to put the people first, we've got to concentrate on this campaign. And that is exactly what we're going to do. And that clip, as you probably noticed from the watermark in the corner there, was from Politico. And Politico has been doing some following up of its own on that original CNN story. And they have actually discovered some new evidence. Evidence that exonerates Mark Robinson? Not really. The Politico article has the headline, Newly Unearthed Data Shows Closer Links to Robinson and Porn dating sites. Top Republican leaders in North Carolina have called on Mark Robinson to provide proof that he wasn't behind salacious posts on a pornography website, but new information continues to point to his involvement in the type of online sexual activity he denies. Robinson, whose top campaign advisors and nearly all his staff resigned on Sunday, continues to deny a CNN report that he called himself a, quote, black Nazi, admitted to enjoying watching transgender pornography, and made graphic comments about other sexual preferences more than a decade ago on Nude Africa. He also denied a report by Politico that he had an account on Ashley Madison, a website for married people seeking affairs. A new Politico review of account data associated with Robinson's email address from multiple websites that had previously been hacked, and the website's breached user data posted on the dark web in recent years, shows that the IP address listed with Robinson's Nude Africa account is located in the Piedmont Triad region of North Carolina, where he lived. Is he going to sue Politico now? It's circumstantial evidence, but it keeps piling up, doesn't it? Now we see that the IP address that accessed those websites that, that had that account that has been associated with him just so happens to have been located in the same part of the country where he was living at the time. That's a hell of a coincidence, Mark. I'm just saying. <sighs> despite all that, despite the mounting evidence that this was him, which I think was obvious to most people all along, but it's just getting more and more undeniable. Despite all that, it doesn't look like he's dropping out of the race. And it's actually too late now for him to drop out and have his name removed from the ballot. They have now passed that deadline, and I hope he doesn't drop out. His campaign is sinking so quickly, it might actually take Donald Trump and the rest of the Republicans on that ballot in North Carolina down with him. And here's the best part. If Trump doesn't win North Carolina, it's going to be really, really difficult for him to get to that 270 electoral votes he needs to win the national election. So stay in, Mark. Absolutely, man. Keep fighting. That's what I say. Keep fighting, Mark Robinson. For all the black Nazi and pro-slavery declarations by Robinson revealed in the CNN reporting, it's his porn habits that have gotten the most attention. And, and here's the thing, and this is just me speaking personally. I don't care if the guy was looking at porn or not. It doesn't sound like any of the porn he was into was illegal or too morally reprehensible. I mean, there, there may be more revelations coming, but as of what we know right now, or judging by what we know right now, he was just looking at porn and I don't care. The, the problem isn't that the dude likes porn. The problem isn't that any of the many, many, many Republicans who turn out to really like porn 
like porn. The problem is what judgmental assholes they are about it and how they pretend to be these pious paragons of virtue while attacking anyone who doesn't come up to their imaginary standards as a deviant and an abomination. It's not the porn. What do I care if the guy looks at porn? He likes to look at trans porn, apparently. But if he's elected to be the governor, he won't let the fact that he likes trans porn stop him from making life miserable for trans people living in his state. That's the problem. The hypocrisy. But hey, if this time, finally, that hypocrisy will cost him, if finally hypocrisy is going to cost a Republican an election, including Mark Robinson and also possibly Donald Trump, then I'm all for it. Go hypocrisy. Hypocrisy 2024. Please don't drop out. Please keep doubling down on what lying frauds you are. That's it for this one, folks. Thanks once again. I am Steve Shive sitting in all week for Jesse Dollimore. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more of me, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Steve Shives and follow me on social media at the links in the video description. Don't forget, November 5th is election day. So if you are watching this as one of my fellow Americans, please, please, please double check your voter registration. And if you can do more, please do it. But at the very least, on November 5th, vote. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. We are once again faced with a pivotal year. And while we don't have control over everything, we as individuals can affect real change. Am I talking about voting? Sure, of course I am. But I'm also obviously talking about underwear. <laughs> In a world so rich with options, why would we ever settle for second-rate skivvies? My 2024 pick for Department of the Interior <laughs> is sheath underwear. Sheath is the only underwear with a dual pouch system scientifically designed to keep your president separated from his cabinet. <laughs> if you catch my drift. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, invented by a U.S. Army veteran while serving a tour in Iraq, the idea from Sheath arose from discomfort in harsh environments. As a former Marine stationed in that part of the world, I get the inspiration. I wear sheaths every day. They're the only boxers that can agreeably accommodate my tree trunk thighs while also keeping my jewels carefully compartmentalized. While I'm not the only person choosing them, sheath are recommended by multiple doctors and urologists and have over 20,000 five-star reviews. It's time to democratize your drawers. Head to sheathunderwear.com slash dollamore right now and score 20% off right away. I personally am an airflow mesh guy, but sheath has tons of excellent styles and designs. And once you pick, Sheath will land them on your doorstep near instantly thanks to blindingly flat fast shipping and amazing customer service. Additionally, your purchase actually does affect positive change. Sheath supports multiple charities like Socks for Soldiers and Doctors Without Borders, so you're making positive choices for the world too. Upgrade your undergarments. Score 20% off right now when you head to sheathunderwear.com slash dollamore. Real change starts with you and your package.